This year for Palo San Jose, we were able to do something really exciting and different. We actually took the festival to a different area away from the downtown district and were able to go to the south side of San Jose and really focus in the area where it's sort of underserved in terms of public art. So we were able to really gather the artists and contribute to an area and really bring um, you know, or new contemporary art to a different area of the city. Really excited and really proud of all the work that the artists were able to contribute this year. This powwow here is a gathering of all nations, people from all over the world. And what's beautiful about that is um, we're painting on walls and not, there's not one culture in this whole world that can say that's ours and ours only. I was at home watching powwow recap videos and Kylie and I's art teacher texted us and she was like, you guys are gonna be in powwow. And I was like, this isn't real. Like, I thought it was a joke and we were like freaking out. It was insane because I've looked up to all of these artists for so long and now like, realizing I'm going to meet them was just insane. It was surreal. We're at the NHS Skate Factory and we just went through a really awesome tour to the museum. Then through the warehouse, kind of saw some decks getting pressed, screen printing. We really appreciated the sketches, the mm -hmm. original kind of, yeah, the concept work that was behind like, some of the Jim Phillips work. To see the whole lineage of skate culture. I just really want to make art that feels resonant with myself and what I'm thinking about and in my imagination. So I tend to draw a lot of like strong female characters and a lot of like fantastical creatures. What I would hope for young girls who might see my work or the work of other female artists is to just feel like they can do it and that art is something that not only you know, is totally accessible as kids, but it's something that we can all do even even when we grow up. And if it's something that you want to see in the world, you can put it out there and bring it to life.
came out to this beautiful farm and we got to plant some vegetables and it gave me a lot of respect for people that do this every day. And um, we really got to dig our hands into the earth here. It felt really good. It's a really powerful thing to have people come and to be able to show them where you're from and then to have them leave a piece of themselves within the community. I think that that's one of the major things that impresses me with Pow Wow. Well, I didn't choose to do the skate park, but when I heard that was going to be my space, I was super stoked because I grew up skateboarding. And just seeing those graphics ever since I was a kid, that was art that felt so approachable to me versus like going to a museum or an art gallery where it, you had to whisper. And like, but seeing the skateboard graphics, just a few different colors and just super bold and vibrant, I always just wanted to figure out a way like how I could do that, how I could make my image on a skateboard. Part of Powwow San Jose and especially being here in Japantown has been really special for us. It's a beautiful little neighborhood, It's people are walking about, we have uh, the elementary kids or the preschool come by every day after their nap time and they'll <laughs> see a progress on the wall and yeah, say hi to us, so it's a great little neighborhood. You know in my neighborhood living in the Bay Area where I was at it was there was graffiti everywhere like it was just part of the culture. Every single alleyway was lined with graffiti art and it was super inspiring me. It gave me some focus and direction. I have a tendency to get really, I don't know, kind of ADD in life on other things, but there's something in art that it, it like really keeps me focused. I mean, it says something when you could be painting at a wall for 15, 16 hours a day and do nothing else, you know? So I think there's some kind of uh, meditation and prayer that that happens in that focused state uh, when we're painting like it's just us and that wall there's no other distractions it's just us and that wall